Hello everybody, I am Angry Bird. We're back with a new Steel Division League cast today. We're still in the Division 2 playoffs semi-final. We have the second game of Tiger versus RM34. And I had a look up between games as to whether this was a best of three or a best of five. And this is a best of three matchup. So spoilers now, if you not watch the previous game, go back and watch it. Stop, because there's going to be some spoilers in three, two, one. So Tiger did win the previous match and all he has to do is win today and he is through to the finals. RM34 has to win both of the next two games, if there are two games. So he has to win this one and the next one in order to get through to the finals. The matchup today, Tiger on the left in blue. He's playing the 26th guard Strelkovi on flatline income. RM34 is sticking with those US divisions. He's playing the 2nd Infantry Indian head on flatline. Both players on flatline this, this time, so it's just all about the trades between the two players today. So let's have a quick look at Tiger's deck, the 26th Guards. It's been a little while since we've seen this in action, or it, it feels like it. They were very strong at the release of this game, and I think they took a couple of nerfs. But have always been a, a great division, just... I mean, they were banned a hell of a lot in previous seasons, so they have always been a good division. I think now they're kind of... They are coming back and being played a bit more often because other divisions are getting banned more often. And this one generally isn't banned now. So 139 units of infantry from Tiger. He's got those snipers in A phase. KV-1Es and KV-85s. He's got quite a few of them. Well, actually 14 combined of those. So 21 tanks total. He does have the IS-1 that will be or could become a headache for RM34. He's also got the ISUs in the support tab. You can get more of those, I'm sure, but he's only opted to take uh, one card of them. He's also opted to take the B4s and the B5s in B and C phase, which is interesting because they can get taken out rather easily due to being based on the vehicle HP rather than, you know, an infantryman HP. RM34, he's on the right, he's playing the 2nd Infantry Flatline Income, so change of income for him today. He has those crocodiles, which Tiger used so effectively in the previous game. He's also got rhinos, and I mean, a similar number of tanks, but again, I feel like Shermans, just the standard Shermans coming up against the KVs, the Shermans are in a worse position. RM34 does have a hell of a lot of M1 guns though, and, and they can be very useful. The Hellcats can take out pretty heavy tanks, and they could be used against the IS-1. He's also got the P47D23s in A phase with the AT rockets. They can be used as well to take out the IS-1. It's going to be interesting how much of an issue that thing becomes. Will it be a big issue, or will it not be a big issue? big issue anyone <laughs> if you're from the uk you'll know that it might not be just the uk anyway let's recap tiger on the left hand side in blue flatline income playing the 26th guards looks like there is going to be an engagement in that center area rm34 dropping smoke up in the north down goes uh, one of tiger's Ognamachiki there and uh, RM34 on the right-hand side in red. He's playing the 2nd Infantry on flatline income. Looks like an Engineer Leader jumps in with the Ogden Machik, and the Engineer Leader should pick up the uh, easy kill there. There is some Ranger Marauders that made it through, and they use their, their Willy Pete against the Guardia, but I don't really think they're going to get further than that because there are some Sturmaviki and Guardia DP in there. But RM34 pushing forwards very aggressively up north and looks like he may well do the uh, opposite of what happened in the last game and take the northern side, whereas Tiger 
did that so effectively. Tagger is moving some Sturmaviki down in the south, along with some Guardia. It has some OB25s down here in defense, as well as a Zis 3 gun, but nothing major going on in the south. I think he's very much giving up that position. He's going to fight over the northern area. So the Ranger Marauders have gone down in the center. There is a unit up in the north. There are some T-34Es being called in. So those Ranger Marauders, they may well still get to use their bazookas. And engagement between the rifles. There's quite a few Shermans in here as well. Three Shermans, to be precise. The M42 gun is smoked off. It may well get a, a short-range shot at these Shermans, but I imagine once it fires, those Shermans are going to be on it like a hot potato, and that M42 gun is not going to last long. There is an engagement further south as well from the T-34Es, so the Shermans actually start firing that. They do not spot that M42 gun, and Tiger might get away with this. Crew panic onto one of them. They are backing away, still not firing on the M42 guns. Turret stuck onto the T-34A. More mortar fire coming in from RM-34 onto Tiger's units. Tiger's pushing through in this center ground with his infantry, so he's looking to counter the northern push of RM-34 right now. Neither of those Shermans have gone down from the looks of it. One T-34E has gone down, though. More basics on the way. Sorry, there has been a Sherman lost in action m1 gun may start to get involved possibly not quite sure there looks like the m42 gun has finally taken some damage and is trying to back away more mortify coming in from rm34 but there's a hell of a lot of infantry in this center town here rm34 hunting for that m42 gun and the Ranger Marauders pushing through. They should have the range here against those T-34s. So we could see a bazooka kill any moment now. Here it comes. There it goes. One T-34E down to those Ranger Marauders. And that unit has paid itself off nicely. Looks like there's... They were trying to push forwards again. Tiger did spot it and back to A's T-34E. Just constant mortar fire, right? Raining down on Tiger's units right now. Looks like some smoke coming in here to block off that T-34E. Engineers pushing forwards. Oh, the Guardias have got into range of those 60mm mortars. And that is going to hurt RM-34 if they go down. There is a uh, 30 cal in here. I believe that's a 30 cal. No, 50 cal. Taking fire at a lot of units. Uh, most people don't use the 50 cals, which is why I was... Uh, interested them because the 50 cals open fire on armored vehicles so they often open fire on tanks you know which they can't destroy and reveal themselves and then die to the said tanks they've just opened fire on and one gun it is targeting the t-34e is it it's holding fire not sure whether that's on efficient shot i'm sure it just took a pot shot then The mortars managed to survive, only losing one men that, man there, and the uh, Guardia unit did go down. I imagine to the... Well, another shot taken. And Tiger, I think, realises there's something firing at him and backs away. Yeah, the Guardia, I think, went down to the M4A1 here. These mortars really have a lot of ammunition, don't they? 40 shells at the start. They are almost out of those now. But the uh, top one, that one's still got a lot of ammunition left. Not really looked down south. It looks like the Sturmaviki did make a little push there. The flamethrowers recovered the position. The Vardias have moved forwards. And RM-34 is bringing in some basics. I mean, Tiger's trying to sneak some flags. While RM-34's attention is clearly on the northern side. IL-237 did come in there. Imagine it lost sight of its target, and Tiger probably forgot what he was using it for and pulled it back. And we do have some more bazookas trying to uh, head around the battlefield. Bazookas just fantastic units, really are. 
And Tiger has taken some losses in this center ground. He somehow still has that flag. But the Sherman should hold it for a while now. M42 gun trying to push forward into position to get some close range shots, a bit like the one further north. And the T-34Es have driven all the way around this little forest and are about to head into the action. Ranger Marauders still in place up north. Could we see another tank kill? Uh, we may well see this. Yes! Two tank kills. And Tiger must have forgotten about those Rangers. RM34 pulls them away, but there's another opportunity here with a KV-1E moving forwards. Nope, Tiger realizes at last. And the IL-237 coming in again with the bombs deactivated. Just the 37mm cannon looking to take care of these Shermans. Body does not manage it. This unit has definitely lost its edge. I believe it was it was bugged constantly from pretty much the start of the game so that this 37mm cannon did a lot more damage than it should have done, and that has finally been fixed. So the IL-237 is no longer king of the anti-tank battlefield. And it's going to go in for a second pass. We'll see whether it can do the job this time. Maybe, yeah, it should get a side shot. Yeah, it does get the kill that time. Doesn't manage to go in for the second shot. And looks like it's coming back around. It looks like it's going for a shot on those mortars that Tiger so, so hates so much. Here we go, the M2... HB, HMG, 50 cal, firing on the T-34E. This is exactly why people don't use that that weapon generally, is because it open fires on a tank, reveals itself, and then the tank kills it. IL-237 coming in on the other Sherman. Looks like it is going to get a frontal shot. Nope. Looks like that Sherman just backed away out of line of sight in time. Or perhaps the bombing run. He just couldn't get down over this forest in time. RM-34 gets that northern mortar back into action, trying to take care of the uh, Ogun, the Michiki, and Guardias. Down south, the reinforcing basics have come in. They should take care of the Guardia in that forest. And another 50 cal in here. RM34 has a loose hold of this southern side. At the moment, Tiger has this flag, but I don't think he's going to hold it for too long. But saying that, RM34 also doesn't have a massive amount down here. The basics are discovered. Looks like Tiger's reactivated the bombs on the IL-237, but calls it back. <laughs> calls it back. So, um, decides against that. Yeah, kind of strange that one. Ooh, I think that was one of the leaders... I think that was a leader goes down there. Tiger does have a combat in here, but no leader. So a bit of a loss there. And RM34 at the same time brings his commander through. Look to up that his bofers prevent any further IL-237 attacks. And in comes a 122 millimeter off map. I imagine it's going to target this forest down here. And that would be a pretty nice Juicy target for that off map. Is this three gun constantly firing away down south? Uh, looks like it's doing some indirect fire onto. Yeah, that is correct. Onto these positions here. I don't really. It looks like yeah. So um, RM34 did recover this this flag, and. I don't really think too much is going to change down south for a while. So basics make it through in that center city. 14.10 to RM34. I feel like the trades in the last 10 minutes have definitely gone his way. I think the first sort of five minutes, well, 10 minutes? That's since the start of the game. Wow, has it been 10 minutes? <laughs> I feel like it's been longer than 10 minutes. It's been great action. That's probably why. It's gone so fast. Or so... What? <laughs> anyway, RM34 makes it through this center city. 
So the trades must have gone his way in the last 10 minutes. I definitely think in the last five minutes for sure. The first sort of five minutes in the game, I think both sides were making trades either way. But yeah, I feel like in the last sort of five minutes in this center area, a lot of Tiger's units have gone down. Or certainly his infantry units have gone down. So it looks like the off-map did come in here, has done some decent damage. He's got a lot of infantry now pushing forwards. OB-25 taking uh, shots on the M4A1. But also being hit by the rifles and they, that unit will go down any moment now. They didn't manage to get the kill there on the Sherman. In comes a KV-85. That can do a hell of a lot of work. There's an M1 gun coming in here now. I expect to take up this kind of position here. Possibly possibly even move for, further forwards as well. There is an M4A Rhino on this southern side now. So our M34 has stepped it up down here. There are still a lot of units that, that can tangle with that Rhino, but I feel like over time, RM definitely has a very good defense down south. Tiger does bring in his third off-map into this center town. And it's 13.11 to RM34. 13 minutes into this game. He's got 28 minutes to last this one out. The KV-85 taking shots or being fired at by the M1 gun. Tiger does mark the location there or thereabouts. Not quite got it exact, so must not have seen that, but he did mark it. And the problem with that M1 gun in that position is he can't really push infantry units down this road while that's there. So he's having to push the Chinapitsaniki across the, the southern side and through. He's going to attempt it. There is an M4A1 Rhino on that road as well. That's tangling with the KV-85. No, it's not. The KV takes out the M4 Sherman. Now it will be tangling with the KV-85. Who is going to win this one out? This is a close engagement. It's got to go to the KV with that 145mm gun. Or... Um, Sorry, penetrating gun. It's an 85 mil caliber. And we got some counter fire, some counter battery fire from the Zis 3 gun. So Tiger utilizing his sort of, um, what's the word, like mixed units um, combination. I don't know what the right word is right now. Versatility. IL-2 didn't get a kill on the uh, M4A1 Rhino there. There is a two-star both is fine on it, but I do not expect that to get the kill. So it's three guns still firing at the M1 gun up there. Will it get the kill? I think it just needs one more direct hit or close hit to uh, really get it. KV-85, is that... I feel like that was almost... Oh, there is another M1 gun here now as well that's firing on that KV-85. Now, this one might have the chance. It's within 1,000 meters, about 700 meters away, 750 meters away. It's not been spotted yet, and that KV-85 is in a lot of trouble. Avto Comrotti coming in here now. Need to unload. Yep, and we do get some extra veterancy onto Tiger's troops. RM-34 has taken some big hits in this center ground. The uh, Rhino did eventually go down. I imagine it was trying to back away and the KV-85s took care of it. The M1 gun's still not been spotted. More to 60 mils coming in now. Are they dropping smoke? No, they're firing on the infantry just further south. Trying to delay the attack and a successful delay as well. Those Chino Pizzaniki are having to retreat. They are now disheartened and fall back much more easily than before. Or they were always disheartened, but they fall back more e more quickly.
And I think those changes to the um, Cherno Pizzaniki and to the IL2s will really affect the 26 guards, actually, because especially the IL-237, the 26 guards really relied on those IL-2s to do a lot of work for them in the anti-tank stakes. Oh, look at this bazooka! Look at this bazooka! What a tasty little move from this bazooka. RM-34 gets the kill! Yes! Nice job there! Lovely little flank! And Tiger has no idea what happens. He actually thinks it's an AT gun. I, I think he believes he thinks it's an AT gun from this forest. He had no idea there. What a beautiful flank from that bazooka. <laughs> and it looks like both KVs have gone down, although one has reversed. Yak 9B was coming in there. I think it might have been trying to take out the mortars. But there is an off map onto uh, Tiger's support units. And finally, they are late. They are late to the party. But we get some reinforcements from RM34 into this town. At long last, the early rifles, they were here. They were on time. They were early. And they did their job and held up the attacks from the Chino Pizzaniquis for the rifles late to the party to arrive. KV-85 back into position. Oh, ho, ho. one shot's a Hellcat. Although, yeah, I mean, it's not that amazing. The Hellcats are so thinly armored. Pretty much anything can one shot it. But that M1 god is still in position. And uh, maybe it can move around and get a shot on that KV-85 once again. There is another M1 gun further up north as well. It needs to move back into that previous position that it had before. Although Tiger has pretty much taken a big chunk out of the northern side. He's finally recovered the northern flag. And he's still 13-11 down though. Still 23 minutes left for Tiger to hold on to this game. RM34 again another off map onto Tiger's support units. Uh, let's just check back down south quickly. No real movement whatsoever. Although I do believe one of the flamethrowers has gone down. And the other one is lower on troops. Oh, we just catch it. The Sturmaviki rocks move in. Take on the flamethrowers and should get through them relatively easily. There is the 50 cal there that opens up quickly. But Tiger takes the southern flag and we're back to a 12-12. Those Sturmaviki rocks as well, if they move up through this town they may well be able to get the flag further north and what a tasty little move by tiger is he going to get distracted by the basics though or is he going to move further north there is a 50 cal now firing on the stomaviki rocks in the south i imagine tiger actually he does have a b4 on the field now as well trying to attack both the 60 mil mortars up here and the aa gun in that position so it could be some massive attacks M1 gun firing on the KV-85. It doesn't spot it yet. Gets the side shot and gets the kill. And uh, yeah, that KV-85 goes down. Tiger is losing his tanks and he does not have a hell of a lot of them. Yak-9B. I think that was targeting the rifles. Ooh. Does pin them down but doesn't quite get a direct hit. There has been a little bit of movement here from these Sturmavikas. They're slowly making their way up through the building should be able to defeat the flamethrowers quite easily the range of marauders might be a bit more of a problem for them with those willy peats but i imagine the two flamethrowers on the sturmaviki rock should get the job done they also have the six ppsh in there as well and oh they've actually surrounded these troops the flamethrower is the only one that will hold the front line so he only has to get rid of this flamethrower and the flag will be his but that range of marauders does need to go down as well if he is going to bring anything through this position. Stemiriki rocks pushing forwards. Do discover the flamethrowers or the flamethrowers discover them. In comes the flames and uh, they hop back out the building. I'm not sure whether that was Tiger Micro in that unit there. I believe it probably was. RM34 has a fair bit up here though, so... Oh, I don't know which way this is going to go. We see an ISU-152 to the south. We see the P-47D, I think, is going to target these Domoviki. Tiger notices in time. He's trying to get them out of the way, but they are pinned down. He's going to try and fall them back. Those Rangers will live to fight another day. And they have a nice position there. They are now behind enemy lines. And uh, I'm not sure whether 
RM34 is going to use those Ranger Marauders, he may well do so in the future. Guardia DP trying to take shots at the M3 half track with that PTRD rifle. Engineers pushing forward should take care of the Guardia quite easily and actually should take care of the Zis 3 gun as well at that kind of range. It's too close. That Zis 3 gun is going to inflict some damage, but it is going to go down. Yeah, we see it slowly, slowly being taken. And look at RM34 making a nice little move here with some Ranger Marauders and some Engineers. 14-10. We thought Tiger was back in it. Oh, but the southern side is looking a lot better for Tiger. Here comes the IL-237. Native 37 mil variety looking to take out that M4A1 Rhino. Will it get the kill? No, it did not. And there we have it, the Rhino reversing back out. It is going to circle around. Try again. Another one up in the uh, north. Falls back a rhino there. These 37 mils just aren't doing the job they used to do. And I imagine that Tiger's probably a little bit surprised about that. It's probably why he picked this division for the IL-237s. But um, they just, they're not anywhere near as effective as they used to be. Let's fly with this one in. Look at the little gunner in the back. Beautiful skim. Oh, I don't think that was quite on target. I think he lost sight of that Rhino. And we look back up. The northern one does go down. So it needs a couple of passes. It will still do the job, but it needs a couple of passes. Whereas before, it was pop, pop, pop. You could take three or four in one. So the B4 is still in play. It is firing on the engineers here. And that heavy... Oh, the Yak-9B just straying over enemy AA there. I kind of... Along the bomb line, I guess, so... It's to be expected. Oh, look at that heavy, heavy shot there from the B4 monster in the back. But look at this half-track. It is going to get surrounded. There is an IL-237 still floating around trying to take care of that Rhino. Surely should do the job second time around. Let's get in on it again. Let's get in on the action again as it flies in, flies down, trying to take out this Rhino. No! The Rhino escapes once more. Lives to fight another day. They are beasts in disguise. <laughs> so Guardia is coming in to try and cover off these flags and take take back territory behind their own lines somehow rm34 got in here it was a tasty little flank i think he came through this center city and up this hilltop here and yeah very nice the m3 half track coming in trying to relieve some pressure off these engineers will the two guardias be able to do the job it's going to be a tough call there's a p47d as well floating behind enemy lines for tiger and he does now call in a ZSU M15, but just one on the entire map is uh, not a hell of a lot. Luckily for him, RM34 is not heavily using his Air Force. The M3 half-track does now unload. Forces Tiger to unload his Guardia. And the uh, engineers take care of the uh, northern Guardia. I think that's too far away for any kind of AT grenades, but I guess they're trying to get into machine gun range. Uh, I guess not. I guess the armor is too heavy on the M3. And uh, look at this lovely little counterplay. <laughs> RM34 knows what Tiger's trying to do. And... Uh, <laughs> Just drives through the middle. But there is the M42, M42 gun here that will do the job at last. I imagine Tiger moved that back as well, yeah, from its position here to uh, take out that half-trap. 
Oh, the B4 now starting to rain down fire. Man, I can't believe that engineers didn't even lose a man there. They didn't even lose a man. That was like right next to their building. B4, though, is now out of those 203 millimeter shells and will need to be resupplied. I never like this, but I guess it is what it is. I never like it when players just put their artillery right next to the road because any counter battery can unload any, th any infantry coming through here. But I mean, I guess... Tigers are obviously a much better player than I am, so... Maybe that's my one bit of criticism for today. The problem is, though, the B4 moves so slowly. To actually get it off the road will probably take another 10 minutes. <laughs> so that's why, it, that's why it happens. It just really... It's, it's one of those things, you know... You know everyone has these little niggles, don't they? That they really don't like seeing. So, more smoke over the water <laughs> from the 60mm mortars. RM34 is clearly loves those 60mm mortars. And does now move forward with the demolition group, range of marauders, rifles, and more demolition groups. Definitely looking to put the pain on Tiger. But Tiger, through all of this, has had a 1311. Looks like the southern side. We weren't really watching it, and he's pushed through with quite a lot of infantry and tanks down here. And maybe it's caught RM34 by surprise, because he is 13.11 up right now. 28 minutes left on the clock. Sorry, no, 28 minutes elapsed. 30 minutes left on the clock. P38J coming in, and these things are very, very, very good bombers. Just decimate an area with their uh, payload really are good bombers you have to keep those p38s at bay and i'd like tiger i i think he needs to move up his aa in order to do that otherwise he's just going to come up under heavier and heavier bombardment the, i think rm34 has now realized that tiger's kind of a bit weak in the AA department. Looks like the P47D is going to try and engage the Yak-9B. Luckily for Tiger, it is over his AA. P47 doesn't quite get destroyed by the head-on. And uh, I believe is called back. The ZSU M15 is still firing, but will not get the kill. Yeah, the M15 is the good version of the American AA half-track, so... But having said that, you know, our M34 doesn't have any AA of his own down here. KB85, close range engagement with the M1 gun and does go down. Oh, the M1 gun goes down in the opposite direction as well. That was really tight for both players. But our M34 definitely will be very, very happy uh, with that result. He'll be much happier than Tiger would. ISU-152 is pushing forward. I really think this ZSU M15 needs to come closer. The ISU and the T-34, the KVs, they can protect it. Right, back up to the north. So both, like, both of these... Look at the front line in this map now. Tiger's pulled off pretty much a, uh, an assault in the south, and RM-34 has the north. But it is RM34 with the 13-11 lead now. Takes it back off Tiger. 20 minutes left in this game. In comes a Yak-9B to hit the demolition groups. Do some demolition of its own. No, up against the rifles and does take a big chunk out of their HP pool. A lot of soldiers dead there to that bombing strike. And the Guardias do come in and should do a decent job at finishing them off. The demolition group... It is a pretty decent squad all round, so yeah. They are going to hold their own. The engineers still in here, still holding on. They finally are going to go down. Guardia pushing forward. They need to get unloaded. They need to get unloaded, especially with the bazooka there. The demolition group doesn't even need the bazooka. They do go down to the rifles. 
And a bit of a loss there for Tiger. I'm sure he doesn't want to see that back because if they'd have unloaded, oh, he would have been in a much better position there. A lot of his infantry has gone down up north. Luckily, he has a lot of Guardia reinforcements coming in here. Demolition Group holding this compound with that flamethrower. Two Cherno Pizzaniki's coming in here. Will it be enough? One of them falling back. I don't think the other one's going to make it as well. That flamethrower is pretty key in holding on to the defenses right now for rm34 and it's going to do the job it's going to do the job the isu what is that going to do is that going to somehow get into position to fire on those demolition group it would have to come up north so uh, i don't think it's going to be able to do that we do have a one m1 gun sorry here moving forwards as well tiger has the guardia units he is pushing another one in there those demolition groups i think it's going to be an airstrike I think that's what it's going to be. Could do with resupplying that B4 as well and maybe target that with the artillery. Demolition group moves forwards here. That's a bit of a mistake, actually, from RM34. I think he should have left it where it is because it's now been seen and they're going to get destroyed as soon as this IS-152 gets its beastly gun on target. There is a Hellcat just rushing in here. Is that going to be able to fend off, face off against the... Uh, ISU, I don't think it is. Load of wounded. Who's going to get the kill here? Shoot a kill. Oh, that's a big, that's a big hit. The Hellcat, can it finish him off? Tiger back in the ISU, down the hill after that shooter kill, and that was a big hit. Yeah, the, the ZSU M15, it just needs to come closer. Down into this valley would be perfect if it can protect it. Oh, Hellcat now engaging the... No, M1 gun engaging the KV-1A. And that's a close engaging range engagement you don't want. The Chino Pizzaniki, they might be able to get there, possibly. There are some rifles coming in, though. Oh, the ISU coming back up the hill. Will that be able to take on the Hellcat once more? Big engagement between these four units here. There's an OB-25 heading in as well. Hellcat pushes forwards. Double teams the KV-1E. Oh, no. Takes out the ISU. Big loss for Tiger. Another big loss on this southern side. And the KV-1E may well go down as well. There's quite a lot firing at it now. It has the Sherman up here. Finally goes down. The OB-25 here trying to engage the Hellcat. That Hellcat has done such a great job. And reverses back out and away. Out of that light forest. And lives to fight another day. What a job that Hellcat has done. Finally, the demolition group go down here to a surrender from the Guardia. More infantry on the way in. But this time, all the tanks have gone down for Tiger. The engineers didn't survive. But the demolition group certainly have done the job against the Guardia that were in this position. IL-237 coming up north looking to take on those m4s but they reverse in time there is a bofers in here trying to force back that il2 switch targets to the m4a1 rhino i'm not quite sure he's going to get away with this yeah tiger calls it back i think that was the right decision there i didn't think at half strength it was going to do anything against that m4a1 rhino and that b4 is almost in sight of uh RM's units. I'm kind of surprised that somehow didn't go down at some point. More Guardias pushing in here. And is the combat going to move? No, it's, it's going to stay in that forest, but it is going to upvet some of the Guardias for a little while. You have to come right, you could do with moving further north, but it's going to be difficult with the rifles covering that position in comes the p47d exactly what tiger didn't want but luckily for tiger it only pins down one of the units but the others are forced to fall back due to that high suppression i believe from the bombs it was possibly a demolition group in there that did die as well may have just missed that so ob25 is still in here and there is another one kind of down south it's got itself into a position that Kind of is, he's not a great position, if I'm honest. Uh, almost would have been better leaving it back up on this hill. 
I mean, not quite sure what it's going to do down there. Unless it, it may well ambush something, but I'm not quite sure it's going to do a great job. These demolition groups are really, really hurting Tiger. They're just standing up man for man against him. And there's a Sherman back here just taking pot shots forever at Tiger's infantry. In comes a Yak-9B trying to target that demolition group. Pins it down but will not get the kill. Looks like an off map from Tiger. Uh, the GPA KO 122 mil. More Yak-9s coming in up north. Has he done enough here? I mean... RM34 is on a 14 in 10, but I do feel like he's weakened compared to uh, how he was previously. His forces are very strong up north, but Tiger has uh, quite a few forces here at the moment. He just doesn't have those tank supports. I believe all of his tanks have gone down. Looks like this may well be the last KV-85 for Tiger because we've seen a lot of them go down. And if you remember... He didn't have a lot in the first place. 21 tanks in total. So I feel like a lot of his heavier support weapons have gone down. This KV-85, I think, is probably the last tank Tiger has. We do have an OT-34 up here as well. Ooh, will the Guardia pick up the surrender against the Demolition Group? They really need to do that. They really do. Because you don't want to fight them. You definitely don't want to fight these demolition groups. If this match is anything to go by, don't stop fighting the demolition groups. <laughs> Demolish them in another way, and Tiger does that with the bombing strike from the Yak-9. It's really quite hard to keep an eye on the action of both north and south right now. Vardias head into the forest to try and take out this demolition group again. And what did I say about not fighting them? Because this demolition group has taken a massive toll. Another bombing strike comes in and another Guardia unit is surrendered. This forest has been a... Just... Such a grind for Tiger to push through. And I almost wonder why he continues to push units in here. And why he hasn't focused on this compound a bit further down. Because this forest, I guess, it provides great sight lines from RM34, so you don't want to necessarily give it to them. But leaving some infantry on the edge here that can fire on any AT guns that pop out this forest, it might have been wiser just to bypass that and focus on this compound. Another P38J, this is going to be a big strike. Down goes the Zis 3 gun and the KV-85 there. Yeah, those P-38Js are just mammoth, and I feel like the ZSU M15 should have been further forward, especially with this OB-25 here. I mean, it could have at least offered some support in that way, but I don't even know if the M15 being further forward would have stopped that P-38J coming in. It probably wouldn't. Oh, look at all the rifles combining now to take on the Gvardia. Stemoviki rocks do come in here trying to take out the demolition group. RM34 has backed them away and back in again. He's baiting them forward. Look at the, look at the little battle between the two players here. Baits forwards and backwards. The Stemoviki rocks are going to stay in this 120 meter engagement range. They don't want to face anything beyond 120 meters that's for sure the demolition group are going to come in they will go down to the stomaviki rocks unless the rifles can come in at the same time double flamethrower versus single flamethrower double should win and it does now the stomaviki rocks have just a mammoth job to do though they do get some cherno pitaniki support yak 9b coming in here taking care of the 50 cal um tiger is going to engage with those stomavikis Oh, especially with the Yak-9B bombing strike coming in there. Perfect timing. And those Sturmavikis are not quite in range to engage the rifles. And I think Tiger needs to give them a little order. Look at the Yak-9Bs just flying overhead. Tiger finally realizing and pulling them back. Looks like IL-237 was trying to engage the Crocodile or the Rhino in here. I, he did have more tanks. He did have more KVs. 
13-11 to Tiger. It's 13-11 to Tiger. I haven't been, even been watching the flags. This has been a great middle part of this game. We are 41 minutes into this game. 27 minutes on the clock. Where did the time go? Where did the time go in this game? And finally, Stomaviki Rocks do come in to take care of this forest. And that forest is going to be Tiger's. But what has he gained out of it? He's gained a forest. I guess maybe it does help out with this flag here. You can get sight lines from this position, but really, I think he should have been focusing on this compound. Looks like there is a Bofors now coming into the southern side to really try and help out RM34 against those airstrikes that have been very deadly. Off map up north, we did just catch it. I don't think RM's got enough to push in there. Crocodile tanking a hell of a lot of shots. B4 still not resupplied in the back. I don't know whether Tiger Ebal has any supply. No, he has no supply. So those beef, the B4s and the B5s, they're just one-use vehicles, which is kind of strange. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I feel like a, a constantly resupplied B4 might have done a job against these demolition groups. But, you know, it's... it's oh, he's still moving Guardians in here. It's a bit of a shame, bit of a shame. Um, he would need to get through that M4A1 Rhino somehow, though. And that is going to prove difficult without those tanks that he so desperately needs. The ZSU M15 does now move forwards. Stimibiki rocks forced out of the forest. Does still hold the flag for now, though. And, oh, they need, do need to go back in there and help out the Guardia against the rifles. And one gun has been marked, but the Yak-9B fails to get into position to drop his payload and it goes down to those double bofers there is a kv85 here but there is also a bazooka in position where is that kv going okay don't think he's going to push forward from that spot he may well do, though, to engage the M4A1. He may well push himself a little bit further forwards. Oh, there's an M1 gun coming through here. In fact, here it goes. Yeah, the KV-85 is pushing forwards. He's starting to get into range of that bazooka, and RM-34 is sensing it. Could be getting another bazooka kill here. The bazookas move out into the open. The KV-85 should spot them. No, firing on the M4A1. Does go down. Now spots them. But the bazooka's off, the IL-237 goes down, and the KV-85 goes down as well. Tiger desperately needs those tanks, and RM-34 is doing a great job of taking them out. I imagine RM-34 is kind of a little bit low himself on tanks. Uh, he only had a similar amount compared to uh, Tiger. Let's have a look. Yeah, 24 units as well. So I imagine he is fairly low himself. 12-12. Even Stevens, 44 minutes into this game. And what a slog this game has been. But look at these two Sturmavikids. They're coming down, right down the road into the direction of that Ranger Marauder. And we said they might come back into play. It must have been 20 minutes ago. But here they are. I have a feeling they are going to come back into play. IL-237 pushing forwards. There are two Bofors guns in here now. And uh, I think he lost sight and had to back away. So Tiger has lost that flag. He had it for a while. Sturmaviki Rocks pushing forwards. Will the Ranger Marauders pick up one? Will they pick up two kills? There goes one. Sturmaviki Rocks unload. I think Tiger did see that. He was probably... Working on the Yak-9B. He is losing a lot of planes right now. The last five minutes, Tiger's lost a hell of a lot of planes. We see two OT-34s up in the northern side. Stomaviki rocks, push forwards, finally take care of the Ranger Marauders, but definitely take their toll. They definitely take their toll. P-47D up on the northern side, drop some 
payload on top of the Guardias. This is a very tight match, this. 12-12. 46 minutes into this game. Oh, the M4A1 has found the ZSU M15. And it will go down. So, yeah, that was the problem with pushing it forwards. But... Oh, the OB-25 is going to get a shot against that M4A1 Rhino. With his heat shells, may well get the kill. There it goes. Nope. Needs to get some early kills. Yeah, needs to get... It may have one more shot. It may have one more shot. No, does not do the job. Ouch. Those rhinos are doing a pretty good job. And finally, the IS-1. Finally, the IS-1 coming onto the field in the center ground. I feel like it's Tiger trying to defend, though, at this point and not attack. And Tiger has lost a fair bit on this southern side. I feel like RM34, if he does push through now, it looks like he is starting to push forwards. He may well push into this southern side. So this two-gun does hold up the rifles, but the demolition group are going to get in that forest, and we know how deadly demolition groups are when they get into position. OT-34 is in here as well. Let's see, where is that IS going to sit? I imagine Tiger might just sit him on the top of this hill. It's probably where I would uh, be thinking of putting him. kind of want to move that M1 gun further, uh, sorry, M42 gun maybe a bit further forward as well. And Tiger's lost her. I did. Ooh, Sniper goes down. Double attack from the P47s. And all the Guardias are pinned down. Will the Demolition Group move forwards? They're looking to get into the buildings. I don't know how long RM34 has had this flag for, but perhaps... A move from Tiger into this kind of area, into this forest here, might have been a, a possibility. I, I honestly don't know how long he's had that for and whether that would have been a possibility. RM34 back in the lead briefly. This flag changing hands. IS-1 does now get into position. Face off against the M4A1. There is a Hellcat coming in here. P-47D aiming for the Guardia, I would suspect. Yep. So, Hellcat. Whoa, firing... Was that the Hellcat then? May have been the Rhino. <laughs> yep, it was the Rhino. Transmission damage onto the IS-1. And... I hesitate to uh, take my eyes off this battle... There is another ZSU M15 coming in here. Looks like RM34 has moved from this compound, but the Guardia immediately go down. And the OB25, almost like they self-destructed there. Wow, and Tagger does still have some OT34s and KV85, so... He has had a lot more of them than I was realising. But he looks a lot weaker up north now, and RM34 looks a lot stronger up there. I feel like the crocodiles have been too thick for either side to penetrate in this matchup between the two players. And RM34 definitely looks in the better position right now. 15 minutes into this game. It's going to take some trading for Tiger to push himself back into a into the hot seat but yeah rm34 definitely looks in a much better position 
Takes this flag up here in the north, 1311. Really doesn't look in any doubt in this center city. And oh, the IS-1 is falling back. Crocodile pushing forwards as fast as it can go. And yeah. Apart from this small pocket here, I feel like this city would go down. So RM-34 looks to have the upper hand right now. P-47, D-23 coming in here. Oh dear, apologies. I've had the uh, tank tab up for quite a while. <laughs> apologies. That is the hazard when uh, the game is so good that I'm taking attention off what I'm actually broadcasting. Ooh, is this three engaging the crocodile? It's not going to penetrate. Yeah, especially with no APCR. And P-47's flying. Oh, it looks like there was a ZSU M15 down here, but it has gone down. Finally, a Yak-9B comes in to try and fend off these P-47s. Will it get the kills? Oh, I think RM's dragging him over those bofers, and Tiger decides better of it. Oh, wing damage. May well go in for this, though. Nope, nope. Call back. And I think that was the right call there. RM34 was trying to drag Tiger across into these bofers. And it was the right call. The Yak-9B did get into position to drop its bombs this time. It does a heavy, heavy damage on the rifles. AL-237 takes out a Rhino up in the north. Hellcat is now into position in a nice little spot as well to cover off any reinforcements. There is this three gun moving forwards though. Another IL-237 trying to take on the Rhino in the center. Doesn't get the right sight. Doesn't get the right sight. Obviously lost him between the buildings, the church, and the building there. And is forced back by the Bofors. So I think Tiger is, wow, he's 68 down now. I was about to say he's in full defense on this southern side. If you look up his positions, he's he's in full defense. He's 16-8 down, and it's looking mighty, mighty tough for him. Looks like RM34 is again pushing him for this flag. I mean, there's just a combat here defending this central compound I feel like this is the end for Tiger now 2 minutes 53 left on the clock and it's just about RM34 kind of uh, what's the word picking up the pieces, defeating whatever's left remaining for Tiger's units Yak 9B does come in trying to defeat the crocodile but again is taken down by the Bofors. One, two, three Bofors up here now. Didn't see that. And another one coming in as well. And another one. A lot of Bofors up on that northern side now. And RN34 clearly has a fair amount of rifles left over. Looks like the IS-1 taken out by the P-47D. Give that man a medal. Taken out the IS-2. Oh, the IS-1, sorry, the IS-1. Chased by a Yak-9, but if that Yak-9 strays anywhere near these Bofors, it's going down. Down goes the OT-34 to the double P-47D attack. KV-85 
last big defence on this southern side. 17.72 RM34, 1 minute 26 left on the clock. I imagine he's very happy right now. Just wants to cover off any defend wherever he can. Credit to uh, Tiger for continuing to push here, bringing out Gvardias and trying to get back over this ground. But more Yak-9Bs coming in and more Yak-9Bs getting shot down by the Bofors. And there's the uh, surrender. 56 minutes, 31 seconds. Congratulations, RM34. 6,700 kills to 4,600 losses. Really did do a number on Tiger there. Commiserations to Tiger. That makes it one game apiece, and we will go into a deciding matchup between these two players. Let's have a look for the kills for RM34. I'm very interested in the um, Demolition Group in particular to see how they did. Looks like he hit. There is a smattering of rifles taking out, you know, double numbers. Ranger Marauders here taking out those Sturmaviki rocks. That was a nice double kill. M1 gun here taking out KV85, KV1A, another KV85, OT34, and a ZSU M15. Very nice job from that M1 gun. Here's the start of the demolition groups from the looks of it. Three units here. Another sort of three units here. Demolition group, four units here. Yeah, those demolition groups were always trading, apart from this one. I mean, even against the Stumaviki Rocks, that's quite a big trade. They were always trading well. And look at this M18 Hellcat. Here, Robert defected to the US and uh, was driving the M18 Hellcat. Gets the ISU, KV-1E, and KV-85 kills. That is why you buy the Hellcats. Some people love them. Some people hate them. They are temperamental as hell. But sometimes they'll pull out a kill list like an ISU, a KV-1E, and a KV-85. That is why you buy those Hellcats. And let's see the Bofors coming in towards the end to really cover against... Tigers airstrikes, two Yak 9Bs going down there, another two Yak 9Bs going down there, IL-237 going down there, and a Yak 9B down here as well. There we have it, 56 minutes, congratulations to on RM34. Don't miss the decider, because if that game's anything to go by, I'm sure it's an absolute blast of a game. Thanks very much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and check out the links in the description. I will see you next time, guys. I will see you next time.